Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and I was going through the videos on our YouTube channel, and I noticed a huge gap where Star Trek memorabilia should be. So today, I'm going to be reviewing the Star Trek The Next Generation 1992 Impel Trading Cards, the complete set. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, today we're taking a look at the 1992 Star Trek The Next Generation Impel Trading Card Set. This is the complete set. Uh, I bought a lot of these off of John uh, when the shop was opened. Um, I also got quite a few from my brother-in-law for Christmas a couple years ago. So, as we can see here, the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation where no one has gone before. And on the back, this is number 001, Space, the Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. And as you can see here, Star Trek The Next Generation, Paramount, copyright 1992, Paramount Pictures, all rights reserved. Star Trek and related marks are trademarks of Paramount Pictures. Impel Marketing Incorporated, authorized user. And then here, they included, well, I don't know if they included in the set, but this, these came with the set I got from John, I believe. Um different languages I think this one might be Czech could be wrong but I believe it's Czech Russian acrylic okay it says right there and then yeah <clears throat> We've got French, Spanish, German, and Japanese. Very nice. All right. Star Trek The Next Generation, fifth season commemorative, 1991-1992 season. Very nice. Star Trek The Next Generation, Voyage 5, 91-92. The successor to the popular Star Trek television series of the 60s, Star Trek The Next Generation, premiered to critical and popular acclaim as a syndicated weekly series in September of 1987. Since its debut, the show has continually garnered high ratings and has received many major awards and nominations. Now, after well over 100 episodes and five years on the air, it seems likely that the USS Enterprise will continue its missions for many, many years to come. Here we have Gene Roddenberry, creator of Star Trek and Star Trek The Next Generation, 1921 to 1991. There's a nice little portrait of him with uh, four members of the crew. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, played by Patrick Stewart. I think I still had some chocolate on my finger from an ice cream bar I had earlier. <laughs> Commander Will Riker. Lieutenant Commander Data. 
I'm not gonna read all these so I'll just hold them up to the camera guys and uh, if you want to read them feel free to pause it if I read every single one of these this would probably be well over an hour long Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge Counselor Deanna Troy, who later went on to become Deanna Riker. I don't know if she actually took Will's last name when they got married, but <clears throat> Chief Medical Officer Dr. Beverly Crusher. Guinan. Or Guinan, however you pronounce it. Played by Whoopi Goldberg. Wesley Crusher. I don't know if you guys got to see that. Played by Will Wheaton. Lieutenant Miles O'Brien. He's probably one of my favorite characters in the Star Trek universe. Uh, he didn't really come into his own, though, with character development until Deep Space Nine, but still a pretty good character. Keiko O'Brien. Lieutenant Reginald Barkley. That was a pretty good episode. Where Barkley merges his mind with that of the ship ensign Ro Laren, probably one of the most fan favorite characters of the series uh, she wasn't on there for very long and she went on to uh become a maquis uh later on starting maybe in a few weeks i'm gonna begin reviewing every season of Star Trek starting with the original series going through to the animated series Next Generation Deep Space Nine Voyager and Enterprise uh, I'm also considering getting CBS All Access so that I can review each episode of the new Star Trek Discovery and then we'll move on to the movies so here we have Ambassador Lawak Luxwana Troy, Deanna's mother. Always having a fondness for uh, guys who play hard to get. Uh, she was introduced in Next Generation and quickly became attached to Jean-Luc. And in Deep Space Nine, she was a recurring character uh, where she quickly became attached to Odo. Lieutenant Tasha Yar, who you guys may know if you aren't Star Trek fans, uh, you may recognize her from uh, a few seasons back of The Walking Dead. Sergei and Helena Rojenko, Worf's adopted human parents. Alexander Rojenko, Worf's son. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> I believe... She's half Klingon, half human, and she is Alexander's mother, or was before she died. Dr. Kate Pulaski. Only around, I believe, for one season, and that was season two. With no explanation, really, as to where she went. And no uh, appearance after that. 
Ambassador Sarek. I believe that's Spock's father. The Traveler. Uh, he's kind of like Q, only kind of like the the opposite side of Q. I guess you, if Q were heads of a coin, the Traveler would be tails. Let's put it that way. And he is actually takes Wesley Crusher with him on Wesley's last mission. He didn't uh, Wesley didn't appear again until I believe it was the marriage of Will Riker and Deanna Troy. Lore, the brother of Data. The Q. Probably one of my favorite Star Trek characters. I loved how when he uh, appeared in Deep Space Nine, the, the one and only time he appeared, Ben Sisko punched him and his response was, Picard never hit me. I'm not Picard. <laughs> and then he went on to appear in Voyager uh, as a recurring character. The Borg. Sela, the illegitimate daughter of... Oh, what was her name? Yar, yep. Livingston. Locutus of Borg. I believe this was the season three finale, maybe season one finale. Klingon Bird of Prey. Um, something I never understood though was why, why both Klingons and I believe it was Romulans both had their own specific Birds of Prey. Klingon Vorsha class attack cruiser. I guess it's a warbird is the Romulans. Romulan warbird. Romulan scout ship. Ferengi Marauder. Borg Cube. Yeah, they should have really named that, put that as the Borg Cube, because it's not really a ship. Um, it's actually very similar to like... Uh, Almost like the Death Star, really. Cardassian Galore Warship. Federation Ambassador Class. Which is the class that the NCC 1701D was. Or no. No, it was a gal galaxy class. I'm sorry. <laughs> they look very similar, though. Yeah, the class immediately preceding the galaxy class. So it would have been the NCC 1701C, I believe. 
correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm not up to date on my Star Trek history. Celsius class. Excelsior. Miranda class. There's a lot of cards here, guys. Constellation class. USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. Enterprise history. Yep. Uh, yep. The C was an ambassador class starship. Ship schematic dorsal plan view. Ship schematic starboard elevation. Galaxy class development project. Ah, the commissioning plaque. Of course, I will edit this down a little bit. Uh, it's currently sitting at the 24 minute mark uh, when recording. So, let's see how much I can edit it down to get it within a viewable rate. Warp engines. What was Zephram Cochran's ship? The first warp drive. It was the... Phoenix, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the Phoenix. Impulse engines. The main bridge. The battle bridge. Sick bay. See there. Crusher working on the traveler. Main engineering. Tractor beams. Ships phasers. Which means that when I was reviewing this, it's not a paint job here. That's the phaser banks. You can fire in any direction. I know most of you hardcore Star Trek fans already knew that, but. Photon torpedoes. Shuttle pods. The transporter. Food replicators, we need those. That would put an end to grocery shopping. <laughs> the 
three-dimensional chess. I would love to learn how to play that sometime. Ten forward. Got Whoopi Goldberg there in the middle as Guinan. Holodex. think we might be about halfway done maybe a little bit more guys ship access corridors and turbo lifts communicator phaser type one phaser type two Phaser type three. Tricorder. Medical tricorder. Hypo spray. Personal access display device. Basically an iPad. <laughs> Isolinear optical chip. The bane of both Jordy and O'Brien. <laughs> Ship signage. Starfleet uniforms. Starfleet rank insignias or pips. Seal of the United Federations of Federation of Planets. Starfleet emblem. Klingon Empire. Romulan Star Empire. The Ferengi Alliance. The Borg. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Makeup. Some behind the scenes stuff. Wardrobe. Art and design. Prosthetics and creature shop. Oh, it looks like that's a miscut. Huh. Interesting. Set construction. Special effects, lighting, and props. I want that captain's jacket that Picard's wearing. Pretty expensive, though. Digital composition. Principal photography. 
post production. Internal damping system. Oh, inertial damping system, I'm sorry. <laughs> Saucer module separation systems. Emergency landing of saucer module. Now going back to the emergency landing of the saucer separate uh, section, it shows it going in like a uh, zigzag style pattern um, for safer. However, I believe it was generations where it did not do a zigzag pattern during the emergency landing. It just kind of went straight down almost. I mean, not like flat down, but kind of a crash landing. The con flight control. Con! Ops. Tactical. F station. Almost done, guys. Ship's computer, which was actually voiced by Gene Roddenberry's wife. Warp propulsion system. The lithium crystals. The deflector. Holodeck. The captain's yacht. Trivia data. Q. What do you want, Q? Jean-Luc. V. 
the Enterprise. We may use some of these uh, trivia cards sometime on future episodes. Do a little game of Star Trek trivia. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you if that'd be something you'd like to see. This is a checklist. Checklist number two. And then we've got the holograms here. Got a couple copies of the uh, Enterprise. Oh, that's a good look. Like three or four, it looks like. So, there you have it guys, 1992, Star Trek The Next Generation, Impel Trading Card Set, complete set, um, not sure, how many, how many cards were there? Looks like there were 120 plus the hologram cards, and then plus the, uh, the alternate multi-language cards. So there you have it guys. Star Trek The Next Generation 1992 Impel Trading Cards Set. Complete set. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comageddon, where all geek culture collides.